Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Sakura Swim Club. In the last episode, we talked about the past, about Keda's past, and then Keda's father called and had a nice chat with him. And now, I think we went to sleep. Hmm. Oh, back to the swimming club. I know that I'm getting better. If you spend so long doing something though, you don't tend to notice improvements. Hmm. Sometimes you plateau, like lifting weights. It's hard to see improvements with weights when you plateau. We see results. They're subtle, tiny changes. You move a little bit faster. Your muscles take the strain a little bit better. Hmm. And apparently shaving helps too. Shaving all your hair. Every single hair. And wearing speedos. You get less resistance. And nothing stopping you. Smooth skin. That's what, I, that's what I've heard from people who uh, went swimming. Who are on swim teams in my my high school. Your technique gets a little bit more refined. Nice. That's what annoys me about self-improvement. It takes a long time for you to actually notice a significant difference. Well, it's the tiny things, the tiny differences that matter, not the significant difference. I mean, that kind of sounds like people taking those uh, injections for like steroids or or um, what are those called? Synthol? I think that's what's called synthol. Like oil base and then just makes their muscles like huge. Like that's like, in, that's like the significant improvements that people just want for some reason. Like really fat, they want fast results. Bam! Merely because self-improvement is always subtle. That is correct. I wonder if Hiromi and Miko experience this with training too. Maybe that's why they they say that they're not fast enough or they feel slow. Maybe they don't see the improvements. Oh. They surely would have gotten better after all these training sessions. Mm-hmm. I would not be able to tell though, because they're just so fast to me already. They're like goddesses emerging from the waters while I'm still swimming at the pace of a sea slug. Aww. Hmm. Goddesses versus sea slug. Now that's a battle I want to see. I can hear them calling from the edges of the pool. Come on. One more lap. Don't let your fatigue ruin your technique. We've got to work on your stamina. I guess this is the nature of self-improvement. Once you stand in the spotlight, you should expect everyone to criticize your abilities. Oh well, if it makes me strive to become even better, then it's fine. Of course! Positive criticism, or not positive, constructive criticism is what, this, is what you know, people strive for. To learn those constructive criticism, not just you know, negative ones and positive ones and constructive ones. As I finish my last lap, I sort of slide across the edge of the pool like a jellyfish washed up onto a beach. I've actually never seen a jellyfish wash up on a beach. Or anything wash up on a beach. Hmm. Well, I mean, I don't... Hmm. Maybe a fish? Tiny fish? I don't remember. Even better than last time. You're going well. You just need to keep it up. They sound a lot happier. Yay! I don't think I've had this much fun at swimming practice since those days. Oh, those days with that girl? Back when... She stops herself before she says it. It's okay, Hiromi. He knows. He does? When did you tell him that? A few days ago. I just felt that we can't have any more secrets in this club. He's been here long enough to know about it. 
Well, he also knows about my mother. Oh, this is strange. Neither of us have been able to open up to anyone like this before. There's something special about you, Keda. Yeah, you're very special to me. Her face turns red. <gasps> Are you confessing? Are you confessing? She covers it with her hands. I, I said it. I managed to say it. <gasps> Nico was confessing. Special? Special in what way? The, that way. Hiromi looks grim when she men mentions that. I won't lie. This is exactly how I feel about you too. We... We both... Both of them look at each other for a moment. Hiromi, what is it? This doesn't seem right to you, does it? You mean... I know you are my friend, but I don't want to give him up. There's a storm on the horizon. I can't feel it. Um, is it Digo uh, for polygamy in Japan? I don't know. I mean, if it is, then I'm okay with this? Ah. Nico, calm down. We're friends, right? So, let's talk about this. Uh... Hmm. Um... If I was in Kata's position, I'd probably stay out of it, because I... don't really know what's going on. Or should I say something? Well, if I know a storm is coming, maybe they'll get mad at me if I say something. Oh my goodness, this is hard. I'll stay out of it. May I say something? Stay out of it. Stay, say something. Stay out of it. Stay out of it. I'll stay out of it. I better stay out of it. I think I'll just make it worse if I try to defend one over the other. Hmm, yeah. What is it there to talk about? Only... Only one of us can date him, you know? Oh, they're really up against each other right there. That sounded like a declaration of war. Do these two get along as well as I thought they did? Don't shout at me like that. They're getting in each other's faces before I know what's happening. And boobies. Why did you have to fall for him too? I didn't know that I wasn't allowed to. I stand there, shocked at the scene unraveling before me. So, that's what that conversation about a girlfriend was about. Really, Kata? I've been trying to tell you the whole time. You, don't, you didn't listen to your little voice in your head. Hmm. Hmm. Miko shoves Hiromi away from her. I thought we were meant to be friends. How could you do this to me? You're being selfish. You can't decide for Keda who he dates or who falls in love with him. Well, that is true. Hiromi shoves her back, nearly knocking her over. Why would he fall for someone as dull as you? Uh-oh. Maybe I should have said something. All you do is stand around and pretend that you're thinking deep thoughts. And you really aren't thinking anything at all. What about you? Why do you think he would date an immature, spoiled brat? You've spent these last few months moping and carrying on. Do you think you were the only person who was hurt by what happened? Well, that's why you two should have talked to each other about it. She was more... My friend and yours, didn't you hear what all of those people said about me? You're selfish, absolutely selfish. It seems that they had these sentiments lying beneath the surface for a long time. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, this confession has made it blow up in their faces like a time bomb. 
I'm selfish. Every time you went to see your mother in the hospital, I was the one who brought your swimming gear to training. Do you think I felt nothing for you when I saw what state your mother was in? I've known her for nearly as long as you. I've done so much for you, Hiromi. And I've done so much for you, Miko. I've had enough of this. We should let the most important person here decide. Fine. I know he'll make the right choice. Who is it going to be, Keita? Which one of us would you rather date? Oh. This is not a position I would like to be in. Both of them looked at me. Tears began to form in the corners of their eyes. Oh no, come on! They're both really badly hurt right now. To pick one over the other would only make this situation even worse. I only see one way out of this. They're waiting on my word. Both of them watch as I slowly open my mouth to speak. I would date both of you at the same time. Oh, so I guess that's allowed in Japan? Or... I think that's allowed, right? Or anywhere? I mean, if they're okay with it? I don't know. I don't know the, uh, the dating rules in countries. <laughs> Never before have I witnessed a moment of silence as awkward as this. Neither of them can comprehend what I had just said. Well, that's the only logical like answer to say. Actually, don't want to get one of them mad. You know, they can only stand there with stunned expressions on their faces. Whoa, 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 whoa. what? What? Hiromi finishes her sentence for her. What did you just say? You would date... Both of us? Yes, I would. If you mean you date both of us as a way of determining, right? No, I would date both of you at the same time. Wow, this wouldn't make my parents really proud of me. Huh, they want me to marry really fast for some reason. I will not pick one over the other. Stupid. Real life isn't a harem anime. How do you possibly think you can date two girls at once? Oh, maybe I was wrong about the dating thing in Japan. I don't know. I can only stare at her blankly as she says that. I don't watch anime, so I can't make a comparison. I, I'm not going to explain it for you. She awkwardly turns away, trying to get her bearings. Well, well, the point is, you can't really date both of us at the same time. Why not? If you're both okay with it, then I don't see the problem here. Ah, see? That's the way I was getting to. Think about the rumors that would spread if we did this. Our reputations would be ruined. But... Why would it matter if you really wanted to date me? Right? Actually, you don't have a reputation anyway. Not a good one, at least. Oh. But it doesn't really matter. Romy seems to be thinking it over to herself. But if we were to both date you, that would mean we'd have to share... Yeah, yeah that would be... odd. Weird. How so? You're already doing that, aren't you? We already spend plenty of one-on-one -on -one time together. I, I don't think you're thinking this straight, Keita. I don't think you really understood what Hiromi was saying. And Miko. What? What? One-on-one? -on -one? Are you saying that you've, you've done things with Hiromi? Done things? Done things? Like what? No, 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 no. This is too much for me. I can't handle it anymore. But Hiromi is the one looking more shocked about Miko's reaction. She actually loses her cool. No, no, no. I swear we haven't done anything like that. Believe me, Miko, we haven't. K Keita, answer me with honesty. Did you do that? No, I did not. She looks relieved now. Do I understand what she's really talking about. Well, I guess this would be okay. Don't think I've given him up to you just yet, Hiromi. 
I'm more than happy to compete with you, Miko. But it's not a... They're not listening to me. Hmm. They don't care. They're going to turn this into a contest either way. Oh. That means they're going to be as affectionate or more affectionate than the other. Oh, this might be kind of bad. I'm going to take good care of him. I'll take even better care of him then. Oh, see? See? There. See? Game read my mind. Much better than you could do. I doubt it. He's going to love all the food I'm going to cook for him. What? You cook? Oh. I love food. Then I'll get good at cooking better than you. Oh well. They're always going to be like this. Competition drives self-improvement. And that's why people say competition is good. So I guess this will be fine. Anyway, I don't want to see you two fight like that again. Okay? I completely agree. I'm sorry about that, Miko. I'm sorry too, Hiromi. I shouldn't have said what I did. I shouldn't have either. They both hug each other then. Aw, yay! Obviously, they aren't going to make up just like that. But this is at least a step in the right direction. It's just... You've always been the more attractive of us two. This is the first time I've fallen in love with a boy, so I didn't want... I... I just couldn't hold back my feelings. I felt the same way. It's just you had the courage to say what was on your mind. Anyway, no more fighting. I think we can both agree to this. Alright, I get to date two girls at once. They're okay with it. Same, no more fighting. But that does not mean we can't compete. Don't think I'll lose to you, Hiromi. Hiromi laughs in relief. I'm glad you were here, Keira. I would have lost my best friend if you didn't settle things between us. And that's why I said that. Yep, I'm really glad he was here too. So I wonder if Plugmi is alright in Japan. I'm not sure. Don't worry about it. We'll work this out together. Sounds good to me. Me too. But you know what it's like training with us. Do you think you can handle dating both of us at the same time? We'll see how it goes. Both of them lean forward and give me a kiss on either cheek. I feel my face burn in response, which makes them both smile. I think it'll work out fine. I hope it does. We love you, Keda. From the bottom of our hearts. I might as well say it too. After all, it wouldn't be fair if only their true feelings were shown. I love you both too. Both of their faces turn red as I say that. You... you... actually said it. Unable to handle it, they both quickly grab their things and retreat into the changing room. Don't follow us in here. We're having a private moment. It would be best to leave them to it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the confessions that Romy and Miko both shared to me. If you guys enjoyed that, then please slime the like button and help support me by sharing this video and by subscribing down below. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!